It has taken two years to heal the scars Hurricane Irene left behind in the North Country after it devastated homes, land, and even some lives were completely changed. This was much worse than anything I'd ever seen. It was here in Keene, along a peaceful Gulf Brook, where Hurricane Irene struck, doubling and tripling the size of it, forcing people from their homes before they were flooded out. FEMA offered to buy homes in the floodplains. That was more than 700 days ago. When you are without a home and waiting for a federal check to get you back in a residence, you count every long day. It definitely took a long time, longer than I would have hoped. Um, it's been a long time in these folks' lives to, to, to not understand or not know what was going to happen with their property or when they were going to get their uh, reimbursement for their property. Now it is finally payoff time. Checks are being sent to property owners and their flood damage homes are coming down. In the town jail alone, there's over 23 at this point and there's still time for people to opt in. Um, but we have 23 right now and FEMA has strict rules. You can't put any permanent structures. Um, you can do some certain things with some playgrounds and sort, but it can't be permanent structures. They even have some issues with fences and those sort of things. So um, we're going to try and find a couple different locations in Upper Jay to put uh, some small sort of playground. But here, these homes will just, uh, this land will just stay vacant. It's been sad for all these landowners, but uh, at least they're getting some resolution to the issue. Large trucks are filled with debris from the knocked down homes and taken to the Franklin County landfill over two hours away. FEMA is also paying for the haul away. Linda Dale of Keene was one of those moving out after leaving behind three decades of happy memories. Recently, she sadly watched the demolition of her home just a few hundred yards from the Osable River. This is very bittersweet. I have a lot of memories from here, a lot of good ones, but right now the place is just a mess and I want to see it torn down and go back to nature. The flood victims were offered 100% of the assessed value of their property, an offer many of them found acceptable. Supervisor Douglas said that he will lose several million dollars of assessed value on the homes bought out by FEMA, but added, we've had nine new homes built since the flood, helping to make up the loss. Some of these homes that are coming down, there, uh, people have uh, lived in them generations after generations, and uh, it's a sad day, it really is, when you're tearing their homes down. We, you lose your identity, you lose your tax base, and, and you lose families. Some of them moved out of state, some of them moved in with uh, relatives, but um, you, you lose families that have uh, been here for years and years, so it is a sad day. The towns of Jay and Keene have their eyes on future flood prevention. The government has given them $3 million for cleanup and riverbank stabilization. We installed a retaining wall. Uh, we just uh, awarded a bid or an RFQ to the, an engineer firm to work on the opposite side of Gulf Brook now. Today, government officials and property owners along the waterways are saying that they have learned a great deal about what flooding can do and are putting that knowledge to work to prevent the life-changing damage like Hurricane Irene did here. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc in Keene.